Hello everyone, this tutorial is going to go over the campaign animation transfer tool. Uh, hopefully it's a quick tutorial. Um, I also get this asked pretty often and essentially what this is for is for units that do not have animations tied to the campaign map. So let's say you create a lord and in this case for the person that I'm helping um, they created a, a halberd lord for Cathay and there's no lord that has animations for the campaign map itself. So we're going to go ahead and create those and it's very easy, very simple. Um, some of the work is already going to be done for me, like the, the table side of things, but I'll go over the most important part of the tables um, and that sort of thing. So let me actually open up this and just have it ready. So the two tools that we're going to be working with is Rusted Pack File Manager and of course Asset Editor. And I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and go into game. All right, and here we are in the campaign. And as we can see, their custom lord here is T posing. And if we move him Favorite around, favorite wizard on Shen Young. I will go. The landscape there, and we don't want that. And simply the reason is because he hasn't been assigned a campaign animation set. And we could use one of the existing ones, like the Astromancer, for example or the regular Cathayan Lord, but um, there would be issues with that where like, the weapons are floating and it doesn't look like a Holbert variant and that's what this guy wants. So we're going to go ahead and make that for him and we're going to do that in Asset Editor. So let's go ahead and go back into Asset Editor. Alright, and we're back in Asset Editor and the tool that we're going to be using is the Campaign Animation Converter tool here. And we'll go ahead and open that. We'll click the drop down menu on the right. And for the mesh, you want to select a mesh that uses the same skeleton that your model uses. So in this case, we're trying to create a halberd animation set, or a Cathayan halberd animation set. So we'll actually just go ahead and bring in one of those just to make it easy. And so variant, variant mesh definitions, and I believe they're called Dragon Guard. Perfect. So Cathayan Dragon Guard in this case, just like that. Perfect. And then for the fragment, since Cathayan faction doesn't have a Halberd campaign animation variant, we're just going to use the battle one here. So the Halberd and shield, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and use the stand idle one, just for the first one here. And we'll just animate it. Perfect. So our campaign animation creator or converter is all set to go. Next, we're going to go ahead and see where CA keeps their campaign animations and that's just going to be under animations campaign database and here is every unit that's on the campaign map um, including for example the griffins the hippogriffs and manticores and so on so all the different beasts that exist on the map are within this location including the ship animations and of course the lords heroes and legendary lords and what I like to do is use a campaign animation set that's associated with the faction that I'm working with. And they like to um, organize that by skeleton, and Cathay uses the humanoid 1E skeleton. So let's go ahead and find that. And those are right here, and I'm just going to use this as a template. So I'm going to use the generic Magistrate Sword Lord bin here. And I'm just going to right click, copy to edible pack, and collapse that. And it's going to create a directory here. And let's go ahead and open it. So within this bin are all of the animation fragments for our campaign Lord Magistrate here, as you can see. And we're just going to use this as a template to create a halberd version of that. And there's not very many, as there's not very many animations needed for the campaign map. But there's a stand one, a, um, a run animation. Looks like they have a stand idle two. Um, let's make sure. They have an attack animation, a defend, and a death animation. So there is two stand idle animations. There is a run animation for when the Lord is moving, an attack, a defend, and a death animation. So not very many. And we can go ahead and start creating those. But before we do that, let's go ahead and rename our 
bin here so it doesn't override the vanilla one. And since our lord is a halberd, halberdier, we'll just name it halberd lord, just like that. And we want to make sure that the name within the bin is also correlating to that. So not halbert, but halberd. There we are. Perfect. So that's ready to go. We can start creating our animations. So we'll go ahead and click this drop down menu. And we actually already have the stand idle one ready to go. So we'll convert, save, and I like to give it a name that is associated with the uh, animation set that I'm working with just to stay organized. So cam underscore humanoid one E underscore halberd underscore lord underscore stand idle underscore oh one perfect and I'm just gonna go ahead and actually just drag and drop that underneath into our bin just so everything's in one location and organized and we'll create another one so we'll just use the stand to idle animation and We'll see what that looks like. Perfect, I like it. We'll convert, save, and now we can just use our file name here as a template. So to save, and we have our second one. Next, we need to create the run animation. So we'll just type in run, drop down, and we'll do run one. See what that looks like. Perfect, I like it. We'll do convert, save, and use one of these as a template. I'll use the top one, and it's going to be our run animation, so just like that. And next, we need a an attack animation. So let's see what this looks like. Perfect. Convert, save. And I don't know if this is the most efficient way. This is just the way that I do it, and it works. So. Um, I'm going to keep doing it this way until I learn another way, but at least it works. So we have our attack animation. We just need to defend one now. Let's try that. That looks pretty cool. Convert, save, and save it as our defend animation. And then lastly, we just need our death animation, and then it should be done. So death, uh, what's that? That's pretty cool. So convert, save, and death01. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and just save that. Now all of our animations are ready. So we can go back into our bin here. And we'll go ahead and just kind of go down the list. And I'm going to be replacing the black text between where it says animation here. So we only want to replace the text that I'm highlighting here, just like that. So for the first stand animation, I'm going to use our first one here. So I'm going to just click it and right click, copy full path, select within the animation here, and just paste between the lines, just like that. And I'm just going to go down the list. So one right there. This, oh, this is the run animation, so we need to replace that with our run animation that we created. So within the line, just like that, paste, and then we can go to stand idle 2 maybe, kind of change it up. Just like that, just like that. So within the animation, just like that, stand idle, perfect, stand idle. Just like that, stand idle. Oops, messed that one up, so you gotta be very careful. Just like that, go back to the first one maybe. Stand idle here. Stand idle. I'm gonna reselect that, and just like that. Perfect, stand idle. Go back to this one just to give it some variety. Just like that. Stand. This is an attack animation, so we're going to use our attack animation here. So attack. 
Perfect. Another attack. Just like that. Another one. Go ahead and do that. This is our defend animation, so I'll go ahead and bring in our defend. So just copy defend. Just like that. This is our death animation, so we'll go ahead and get our death animation. And replace it with our own, just like that. Another death animation. And two more defend. So copy our defend right here. Just like that. And then just like that. Perfect. So our animation set is all done. We just want to make sure that we save it just like that. And as you can see, it updated the name here, saved here, and we'll go ahead and save. Perfect. Now we can open up Rusted Pack File Manager. We can open up our pack file. And mine is just going to be on my desktop because I'm a mess. And it's the that one, just like that. And as you can see, this modder already created all of the necessary tables to get the Lord in game. But the tables that I'm only going to be focusing on are for the campaign animations specifically. And those tables are the campaign character arts table here, right here. And there's also a mount version here. Um, actually, maybe this one. Let's see, this one, sorry. So the two, two, two tables that uh, we're gonna be focusing on are this one and this one. So the only reason why I wanted to go over this one is if your Lord has an upgrade into a mount, for example, like a horse, you would need to create another custom animation set with the horse animations, save it, and then um, apply it here. But since I'm just gonna uh, for the time, for the sake of time, I'm only going to do the uh, land unit version here, and we're going to go ahead into our animations, campaign, database, bin, and our hall halberd lord bin here, and that's okay. We're not going to right click and copy path. We're not going to do that. We're going to actually right click, click rename, and then we're only going to select the name of the bin itself. So make sure you only select the name. We're going to control C, accept, and then go back into our campaign character arts table, select that. And then we're, it says land animation table here. I've already done it, but you would just control V to paste. Perfect. And now we can just save our pack file and it should be all set to go. And now we'll just go ahead and drop it into our data folder, launch the game and see what it looks like in game. All right. All right, and we're back in game. And as we can see, Astromancer our Lord here Grand now has proper campaign animations. He's standing idle and looks really cool. If we go ahead and march. He does the run animation just like he should. And it looks perfect. I and of course, if I attack this guy, he would do the attack animation, I believe, and so on. So, yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple, My straightforward. And once again, I hope it helped you guys. And if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out. And I always try my best. I just am incredibly busy at the moment, but I will try to get back to you. But yeah, have a great, have a great day or night, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.